Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here. These are the readings for September of 2022. They are general readings and I will be, uh, as I usually do at the beginning of the month, I will be expanding this reading. Um, so we'll be looking in the expanded version of this reading. It will be more focused on romance and love. So we'll see what shows up in the general reading. Now, the pre-Raphaelite tarot is what I'm using for the nine card spread. I'll be taking a Kama Dharma message, as I always do. I will be using the good tarot. Uh, I'll be taking three cards from here uh, pertaining to love, so we'll be looking at that, and then we'll be expanding on love in the extended. I will be also using the energy oracle for advice, as well as the moonology oracle, uh, which is more... It's more about your subconscious uh, fears, intuition, anything that's going on for you emotionally, which can relate to matters pertaining to home or where you are emotionally. Are you happy? Are you feeling serene? What's going on in your emotional life? So the immunology uh, will also give us more understanding about matters pertaining to love as well as home and anything to do with the uh, yin energy the nurturing uh, psychic energy that we all hold now in the extended uh, as I said I will be expanding on love so I will be using a mirror's love oracle I will be taking the angel answers so you'll be able to uh, tune in and ask your questions hopefully we can uh, Spirit will guide us to um, to answer your questions. And for advice, I will be using the Universal Love Oracle uh, as well in the general reading. Now, I will also be uh, using the La Vera Sibila um, in the expanded love section to see what what is more going on pertaining to love. As I said, I'll be taking three tarot from the good tarot and then uh, we can expand with the Sibylas, get more information with the Mirror's Love Oracle, the Angel Answers as well. And lastly, in the expanded, I will be taking my handwritten love messages. Okay, so speaking of the expanded uh, reading for each sign, uh, if you're on Patreon, you get the 12 expanded, extended readings, um, which is great because purchasing one extended, expanded reading um, is the same price as being a, a member on Patreon. So you may want to join us on Patreon. We do a lot of astrology and mythology and you get all the expanded extended readings as well as uh, many perks like three free readings every month. So yes, we'll be doing it a little bit differently this month with the extended. As I said, we'll be expanding on love. So either you can join us on Patreon or you can purchase a one-off uh, through my website as I have the extended readings there as well. You can get all the links beneath the video. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading, they are available. You can get the link beneath the video. My website is there, so you can check out the link, check out the readings that are on offer. We, we do astrology readings, we do birth analysis, we do tarot readings. We do a mixture of tarot and astrology, which are called the deluxe readings. So if you want any advice as well as to which reading would best suit your situation, you can always email us at divinedebu11 at gmail.com. All the links are beneath this video. Um, and I'm beginning with the sign of Virgo as it is Virgo season. Happy birthday, dear Virgo. 
Of course, we've got the uh, equinox um, towards the later part of the month. We're moving into Libra season. Uh, a change of seasons uh, is a big change, generally speaking. So it's important times. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to uh, these readings. They are free readings, remember. So those of you that, if this is your story, you can get the extended, expanded uh, version for the month of September of 2022. So let's go on to the readings, everyone. Thank you so much for your love, your support. Let's begin. Hello, hello, dear Cancer, and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here for your September reading, September of 2022. This is a general reading, and I hope you've watched the introduction as I do go into what decks I'm using and how to receive the extended reading. Of course, the links are always beneath the video. Where in the extended, we're looking more into love, not more into love, their, their love uh, readings. The extended, which you can get through Patreon or through my website, the links are beneath. Okay, so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and North Node. We've got the Hermit and... Uh, and Hierophant, two major arcana cards, Taurus, uh, Virgo. So someone's uh, looking, looking for a way out, some sort of uh, commitment. Um, for some of you, any sort of commitment, anything to do with uh, traditions, the way things have always been done. I mean, the Hermit is one step before the Wheel of Fortune, so Wheel of Fortune is a, is a 10, this is a 9. So we go from the 5 to the 9. Some of you could be dealing with either a Taurus or a Virgo, or you may have your Rising, let's say in Virgo, and your Moon in Taurus, for instance. Some of you could have planets in Taurus as well. Now, the Hierophant and the Hermit are two very spiritual people, very wise, they're very mature. So I don't know if you're dealing with a spiritual connection, looking for information, that's what the Hermit does, looking for the light. It is the Virgo season, which um, explains the Hermit, but remember the Hermit is all about solitude and going within to see the light. The uh, Hierophant is Taurus, that's where the North Node is, and Uranus, so faded events are playing out pertaining to the Taurian energy. So we're looking at our values, have we been valued in any sort of commitment? I mean, the uh, Hierophant could also be an institution, anything to do with study, the Hermit studies as well. Uh, Virgo is all about the details. Uh, Change needs to happen. There's been a lack of change. There's been uh, limitations, restrictions and boundaries more than likely. So you're looking for a way out of something that hasn't provided for you. Remember Uranus in Taurus is bringing in the changes that haven't been made, that we haven't been able to make. And you could also be dealing with a married Virgo, possibly. Let's see what's going on. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and North Node in Cancer for the month of September. We've recently had a new moon in Virgo, end of August. And we're going to have a Mercury retrograde as well. So a new moon is a new seed that's planted end of August. Mercury is retrograding, it does rule Virgo, so if you are dealing with a Virgo uh, person that is important for them, um, we will be revisiting old situations, old relationships, old uh, partnerships will be coming back so that we could re-look at situations. It is Merc it's not only Mercury that's going to retrograde, it's also um, retrograde season. 
as most planets are in retrograde motion. It's more about revisiting the past, going inwards. That's the Hermit as well. So what's going on for Cancer, generally speaking, and we'll be looking at love in the extended. Let's see what your focal point is. We've got the Hanging Man, and I was going to talk about right opposite Virgo is Pisces. We're going to have a full moon in Pisces that will be happening on September 10th. And then a new moon in Libra, um, which Libra is also um, a Venus, Venus ruled sign. Libra is all about relationships, so a new moon in Libra, uh, new moon, new beginnings pertaining to equality, possible, uh, any relationships, partnerships, right? That's what Libra is all about, but. The Hanging Man does speak to uh, holding on, waiting, possibly needing to surrender or see things from a different perspective. Something is playing out here. We did have the Hermit. We've got Pisces. So from the end of August till the beginning of September, around the 10th, something will be shown to you. I mean, a full moon does mean an ending, an ending to holdups. Um, Pisces can also speak to uh, blockages and a major cycle that's ending for you, anything that's been restricted or limited or you needing to have to see things from a different perspective, either you or just needing to wait, needing to wait um, for someone else to see things from a different perspective. I mean, we know the hermit looks for the information, right? He's soul searching. We have the Page of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, The Wheel of Fate, Wheel of Fortune, and this could speak to Jupiter and Pisces, so this could also point back to April, May, and the end, towards the end of the year when Jupiter will re-enter Pisces. Now you need to wait until then for the faded changes. We've got the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is obviously you. Uh, or you're dealing with another Pisces, possibly. Uh, Page of Cups. And the Four of Cups. Four of Cups, that's the outgoing card obviously, so this is past, present, future, and past, present, and future. So something has begun for you from the past, something that went to start off uh, stopped. Is it, I don't know what it is, I mean, speaking of the Major Arcana, it's the Will Fortune and Pisces, two cards that do work well together. So after some time of waiting, and also the Four of Swords is all about a hold up. The wheel starts to turn, but there's a lot of fear pertaining to this um, stoppage, this break, this need to heal. Remember, Four of Swords comes after the three. So it can speak to... Uh, I mean, Pisces can speak to the house of sleep and dreams and dreamy energies and uh, spirituality. But I, I don't know why I get sleep here. It's like someone's in a bit of a daze, in a bit of a dream. So it can also relate to um, magic. Some sort of magic that you're... It's, it's, it's already started. I mean, that leap of faith has already happened with the Page of Wands. It is a messenger. It is uh, the page that's very adventurous, very um, fiery, very much about your desires and what you want to create. But again, there's a stoppage here. And the Four of Cups is usually the card of boredom, but um, it's... It's, it's obviously got to do with um, an emotional matter. Fours always speak to home and family or the past. 
And we see these women are picking flowers and they cannot see that cup that's behind them, the offer. And we've got the Page of Cups here as well and the Queen of Cups. So it's all about a new, uh, new uh, emotional start or a revisiting of an old situation pertaining to having the ability to create something or for an offer of love. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. This could be a mother and child or a, a mother and a child or it could just be a, I mean, we've got a King of Wands here and a Queen of Cups where it shows that the Divine Feminine is more recessive, the Divine Masculine is more action-based. So, uh, as I said, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo could be an Aries could be a Sagittarius as well with um, possible uh, you possibly you're coming from different areas of the world as well maybe you hold different beliefs we did have the uh, Hierophant and the uh, and the Hermit The Page of Cups can also speak to a possible apology or a message, a message of um, of coming together of, yes, I've decided, yes, I've decided that I'm going to take that next step. So some of you have been waiting on a decision. It can be pertaining to a creative project or a love relationship, a partnership. And I feel like someone needed their time. There was a lot of fears or the perception of fear or blockages or how are we going to make this work. Someone needed to see, they needed their time. I mean, the Four of Cups always speaks to being happy emotionally within a, uh, an environment. Is it where you work? Is it where you reside in, in a home? We've got all cups here in the future column. But remember, the Queen of Cups has got to do with the past and the future. She's at a pivotal point. So also strong intuition, dear Cancer. Pay attention to that. Let's see what's at the bottom. We've got the Two of Wands. This speaks to choices, obviously but also someone's desires. Remember the Two of Wands is someone that's waiting to take that journey, someone that wants to expand, expand their knowledge, expand their um, whatever they're, they're creating, take it to the world possibly. He does hold the world card. So again, it's got to do with physical distance. It's also uh, like that green light or that open door that opens. But there's doubt pertaining to that. And the moon does speak to fears. Strong perception. Here is the star. Here is the star. And the star does speak to a wish fulfillment, possibly. Or someone holding on to the hope that a decision, a choice that someone makes, will include them. Oh my God. The tower. The tower is beneath the star. And we know the star is also about communication through social media. Uh, Aquarius is also about rebellion. Um, freeing oneself up from a, from a difficult situation. We know the hanging man is not easy. It's, we cannot be like this forever. Something needs to change here. And the Six of Pentacles... Six of Pentacles, it does pertain to reciprocity or e equality within relationships. Something needed to share here, sh something here needed to shift. Something was at an imbalance. We've got the two illuminaries, the, the moon and the uh, star here. They do speak to illumination. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. What's the Karma Dharma? OK, 
Cancer in the month of September, we've got judgment. And judgment does speak to a resurrection. Some sort of difficult decision or moment, a critical moment. This can speak to uh, help coming through from, uh, from spirit and the divine. Let's see what the energy oracle holds for Cancer in the month of September. Before we take more tarot and get a bit more information. What is the advice for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and North Node? What I get here is that some of you in uh, matters of pertaining to love, your emotional happiness, it's as though you're sandwiched between a love connection, someone that's attracted to you maybe physically, someone that is uh, king of wands, someone that comes through as quite sexual, um, fiery, very Marsy energy, very driven, this could be an entrepreneur, but because I do see the Page of Cups as... For many of you, this could be a child of yours. So you're sandwiched between your responsibilities and your emotional life. Now, we've got two pages here. It could be um, two parents, two people that have got um, children. They've both got children here. If we look at them as just messengers, oh my God, two cards just fell out. And this is how they fell out, dear Cancer. If we look at them as just messengers, uh, the energy from the past is more fiery. Uh, it's about attracting, it's about creating, whereas here it's more emotional, so it's more heartfelt. So the, a woman holding a coin, which would be more someone who is a mother, she's in the reverse. Right, we know that she's... Uh, She's very similar to that Queen of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, which would be you more than likely. There's either some of you are having financial uh, issues here or there's instability. There is instability and we've got the cat here, the black cat, which does speak to luck, does speak to strong intuition. Some of you are not listening to your intuition. Some of you could just be creating a business, a spiritually based business. I mean, the hermit can be an astrologer, tarot reader. Your, your beliefs have maybe through hard relationships or hard chapters, for whatever reason, karmic situations play out. Uh, it's so that we could evolve. I feel that some of you through difficulty, I mean, you've come out of a three of swords, so... You've been sort of behind the scenes, the hermit, right? Studying something. S something that will give you financial ability to be able to provide for those that you love. This could be the beginning of something wonderful here. And the door opens to spirit here. We've got a 42 and a 32. So I don't know what those numbers mean for you. This will obviously... Um, it's going to take time, and but the door is open to spirit, which says to me that spirit is guiding you. Um, a door opens, and I did speak about a an open door here, choices as well. Now, the woman holding a coin, this speaks to your security, financial, emotional, physical security. Uh in the reverse says that she's she's not happy she's not in a good position now i'm not reading reversals here so we'll let's have a look i want to see what the reverse message speaks to it will give us more information number 42 in the reverse this card reversed could indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some health issue it could also reveal a lack of value for yourself and your own life. Some of you may feel as though if you're dealing with someone that um, you feel hasn't valued you, then that could also be the indication, the difficulty here. Pointing to someone else, when this card comes in reversed, 
It shows a woman who may be reducing her own money or simply may not have the best, your best interests in mind regarding your financial affairs. It could also be someone who devalues or criticizes you or causes you to doubt your own value. It could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today. Be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's negative vibration influence you at any time. Release any toxic connection and know that you are free to define and value yourself no matter what. The Door to Spirit, number 32. This speaks to a spiritual awakening and new beginnings. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. Do you remember how I said that this could also be a spiritual connection with the Hermit and, and the Hierophant? As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. So that's got a lot to do with judgment. We know that judgment is aid coming through from spirit and where you haven't been living your the life that you've always wanted. This is like second chances. The Hierophant also holds two keys, remember. Let's look at love. I'm taking the good tarot. I'm taking three cards. Three cards usually. And we'll be expanding this reading through uh, Patreon and my website for more on Love for September. So what's going on for Cancer in the month of September in the love area? What's going on for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, dear spirit, in September. Now, dear Cancer, uh, Mars has uh, entered, for those of you that are Cancer Sun and Rising, Mars has entered your 12th house. Uh, Mars is behind you. He will be there for like seven months. So some of you may have trouble sleeping. And I don't know if this is help in uh, sleeping. So you're taking uh, sleeping tablets or something like that. Mars in Gemini behind you uh, will sort of there'll be a there'll be a deep stress level that you may not understand why you cannot sleep. Mars is all about action. It's about powerful movement forward. But some of you have got some cycles that need to end in your life uh, and it may take you until March next year Mars will be there until March next year to finalize things before you can move forward right and we've got the wheel of fate here the wheel of fortune I could also speak to the time of Sagittarius I mean Mars is going to retrograde there so let's see what's going on and of course, Mars. Mars could also be anything to do with desires and uh, attraction, uh, a masculine figure. So Mars in your 12th house could also speak to a secret love affair. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. In September, this card wants me to take it. We've got Strength card. So we've got Leo here. We've got the Moon. Two major arcana. We've got the two of uh, wands. The two of wands, which is also the general energy here. Two of wands. And we also see the lantern. See the lantern with the light. 
the lantern with the light uh, hanging from the mouth of the giraffe, which is the lantern that the hermit holds. Now with the moon, have a look at the moon card. We see the stars here. So remember that we have the moon here and the star card connected. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with a possible Aquarius. I don't know if you're ending with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo Aquarius. A Leo or an Aquarius, possibly. The moon does speak, it could possibly speak to a secretive connection, a deep soul connection as well. And there is a choice here. The strength card does speak to strong passion and desire, confidence. The confidence could be lacking here. I don't know if it's you or the other person. Remember the woman holding the coin was in the reverse. What's at the bottom of the deck? The moon again speaks to the mother. We've got the six of swords here, which does speak to leaving conflict and moving towards possible serenity. This could be a physical move as well. We've got the ace of cups at the bottom, the seahorse. So the luck comes up here. We, remember I spoke to the cat, the cat, the black cat being in the reverse. You've been feeling unlucky. Um, the Ace of Cups is here, which uh, also signifies the Page of Cups. Remember, the Page of Cups can usually be immaturity or sort of like a playful, innocent way of coming in. If we add the Cups here in the last line, that's six Cups. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with a soulmate, someone from your past, someone that you uh, feel you've known feels very familiar to you we do have choices here and leo and a uh, uh, cancer cancer pisces leo cancer pisces if you're leo 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 is the house of children it's the house of romance. It's the house of the ability to create. The moon goes deep. There's sensitivities, there's subconscious fears, there's secrecy, there's there's illumination when we've got a full moon, obviously. But we know the moon is, there's no illumination. It's usually dark, so we need to go within um, and trust our intuition on making a choice. Um, I really, really really want to take one card on that two of wands i will take one card on that and we've got the tower oh my goodness oh my goodness the tower which we saw here as well the tower comes from the past but it's got something to do with, uh, obviously, a choice that's been made. Something There's something that you've seen. It can relate to reciprocity. Uh, possible, some of you could possibly be going out, uh, going through a divorce, possibly, or legalities. I mean, the Six of Pentacles it can speak to a payout, or it can speak to karma, dharma. It can speak to a needing to uh, pay someone generosity or the lack thereof beneath that is the three of cups three of cups which can speak to possible happiness in the past but also other people being involved in your situation let's see where you are emotionally dear cancer emotionally in the month of september for cancer where are they emotionally and we will take more tarot in a moment Where is Cancer in the month of September? Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. That would speak to obviously uh, February, uh, late January and early February. Well, sometime in the Aquarius uh, season, nevertheless, new moon is a new seed that's planted there. That's when love could be coming into the situation. Aquarius is all about freedom. 
revolutionizing something, breaking free, having that intelligent aha moment. Remember, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, which is limitations, but Uranus, which speaks to breaking free from the old. Let's see. Let's see what that hanging man is, which is your focal point. I'm really wanting to see what that tower is, but I think we'll look at that in the extended. The tower, I remember, is Uranus, could be Mars, um, something that could be playing out behind your back that you don't know about, you will be seeing pertaining to love and choices. We've got the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is usually the traveler. We've got Pisces, Sagittarius here. So a lot of uh, changes. I mean, they're mutable signs. They're all about change, right? The Knight of Wands is someone that's very driven. He's, but he's looking towards the past. He's, he's exhausted. He's come off his horse and he's walking. It's as though what it tells me here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to get to my going to get to my goal if it's the last thing I do but there's something from the past that I need to revisit let me just restart my camera and again um, you could be dealing with a foreigner I mean the yeah, knight, knight of wands he's taking longer than he would normally because he's, he's walking let's look at that four of swords And we've got, wow, we've got the Knight of Swords. And we see the scales again. And we know the Knight of Swords is quick action. It's not it's not something that that is easy. Uh, someone's waiting on some sort of a, a judgment, a critical moment, a decision pertaining to legalities. Someone wants to just break free, I get here wants to break free and it's got a lot to do with perception communication now with mercury uh mercury this month that will be retrograding he's entered libra which does speak to fairness justice having those important conversations it will be all about the details all about how we communicate and it can because mercury will ingress back into virgo where he will finish his retrograde there. It will be all about the details. And remember, Virgo is very specific. It's about the little, little nitty-gritty things. But again, it did speak to health here too, and I'm going to say psychological, spiritual health. Someone needs to go back to revisit the past. I mean, Knight of Swords can be information, um, but it can also speak to having the intelligence to see into the future, to come into balance, and that's on the health card. It could speak to someone's health, yes. Let's look at the Eight of Swords, because this feels like someone f is feeling trapped, and it's their perception. We've got the Eight of Wands, so Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, which does say that the energies will pick up, Eight of Wands is someone feeling bound but wanting to break free and fly away, fly towards, uh, I don't know, a new beginning, changes. We know the Eight of Wands are love messages and there's been maybe no communication. Um, someone is needing to deal with something before they can make a decision and communicate. What's the King of Wands about? Five of Cups, someone who is mourning the past, but also, and you notice that again she's looking at the past. The Five of Cups is like focusing back to the past again. Those three cups usually that are spilt, here it's about the Ace of Cups. So again, this Ace of Cups uh, is connected to the past. It's not like it's going to be something new uh, where emotional 
matters, love matters, our concern. It's got to do with the past. Let's look at the wheel. The wheel, fate and divine timing. We've got the death card, so something has got to end. You see, Jupiter will put an end to something. Um, the death card is Scorpio, so Scorpio is very prominent. We did have Taurus. Scorpio is where the south node is transiting. Remember, Jupiter can uh, separate or bring together. He could be optimistic, but he can also be over-expansion, uh, you know, and we've got the death card here, so you're really feeling it, this, you know, this ending. It's not an easy thing for you to shed, and you're waiting on help from spirit. I mean, Jupiter is also justice. Some of you are waiting on your justice. Let's look at that Two of Wands. Oh my goodness, some of you are trying to shed something that's been holding you back from the past. There is the devil. There is the devil, and the devil is unhealthy connections. It can also speak to a strong sexual um, connection with an older person. Uh, all this has matured you, this situation has matured you. Uh, restrictions or timing pertaining to this choice or this door opening. Let's look at the Queen of Cups. We've got the Six of Swords, which is also here. Limitations on the ability to move towards what is it that you love, what is it that you're creating. And I want to see what this Four of Cups is about. We've got the Star again here. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which can speak to family, can speak to abundance, um, emotional, financial support, family, abundance, of course. But remember, tens always turn into aces. What's that sitting on? And we've got the, uh, the High Priestess. We had the High Priest before, if you remember, the two cards that fell out. And we know the High Priestess, strong intuition. You are showing up as the Queen of Cups here as well. Now, the High Priestess can many times be a third person. And the Devil can also speak to a secret love affair. Someone does have a choice here to end or to transition towards. But you'll be revisiting the past, no doubt. And we've got the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands and then the King of Wands. What's missing is the Queen of Wands, and here we've got a Queen of Cups. So she's more emotionally in tune, psychically in tune, than showing up as the Queen of Wands, which the Queen of Wands, she's the go-getter. So it's as though, dear Cancer, you're waiting for the other person to, t to take action. It's like you've checked out, you're not doing anything, you're waiting on the other to make a decision, it can have to do with timing, right, we've got Saturn and we've got Uranus here, we know the square Saturn Uranus has been playing out all, all uh, last year and we will be dealing with that in, you know, from the end of September and all October, but we need to go with the, uh, go with the changes. We cannot be stuck in the past. The tower, that's what the tower helps us do. Whatever's been difficult pertaining to uh, decisions, uh, seeking the information, yes you find, yes you see what you've been searching for, yes you will have the clarity. The tower sits on that lantern and you could be uh, possibly also searching for information, uh, particularly on a Virgo or a Virgo searching for information, particularly uh, pertaining to you. I mean, the, the woman holding a coin is an earth sign, right? She's usually the queen of pentacles, so uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn more than likely. I suppose Taurus as well, since we had the Hierophant. But 
remember it's more Virgo that's more motherly and as is the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is also very nurturing she loves she is the pinnacle of compassion um, love um, emotional strength for others and we've got the strength card here strength card does speak to trust maybe trust has been an issue here we've got the moon which can speak to deception and secrecy or someone trusting their intuition that they will have the information that that door will open and they will move towards serenity i don't know it will be different for each of you let's take a message from the universal love and then i will expand this reading dear cancer pertaining to love in the month of September what's the advice divine guidance we've got we could see like the moon there again let's read this look within close your eyes and breathe slowly into your soul breathe past the worry heartache and outside opinions let your breath delve deeper than your fears to dissolve all fragments of doubt blocking the clear voice of your inner knowing breathe into your heart into your perfection into your beauty and discover the wisdom you hold remember your divinity know your humanity in humbled grace you see the world in and the world sees you in honesty and acceptance without sin nor sainthood but all as it is Look beyond the limits of doubt and mortal knowing. Then heed your intuition, listen to your heart and note your instincts. It may feel strange to go where you are energetically drawn to, but explore on my... Sorry. Where you are energetically drawn to, but explore on my friend. Explore on my friend. They don't use commas here. There should be a comma. I'm going to start again. It may feel strange to go where you are energetically drawn to. That's where the comma should be. But explore on, my friend, and discover a freer world. Stop and listen. Really listen. Stop and feel. Really feel. Let yourself go deep. The greatest wisdom is inside you. And that's where you need to look, dear Cancer. You are the hermit, uh, possibly this month, but you're also coming to the end where the will of fate starts to make the changes maybe that you've been hoping for as you are revisiting the past, going inwards. Retrogrades are always about turning inwards, doing the inner work. And then when we do the inner work, our outer world changes as well. Thank you so much. For your love, for your, I don't know, effort, efforts, your time, um, commenting, subscribing and liking this video always helps the channel. Thank you so much. Those of you that will come to the extended, I will see you there. Love and light, dear Cancer. Love you so much. Stay well. Uh, stay blessed. Talk to you soon. Ta-da.